For this assignment, there are N soldiers standing in a line. Each soldier is assigned a unique rating value. We have to form a team of three soldiers amongst them under the following rules. So we need to choose three soldiers with indexes I, J, and K with rating. And then we have like parentheses here where we have rating I, rating J, rating K. And these are going to be in arrays. That's they're array based. A team is valid if our first index of our array is less than, or the zeroth index is less than the first index, or and if that first index is less than the third index. And we could keep going and comparing these. We can have this actually as big as we want. We just have to have three that we're looking at. So it could be like these three. It could be like these three. It could be these three. They just have to be in order from either left to right or right to left. And we're going to see how to implement this in a second. We're going to want to return the number of teams we can form for the given conditions right here. So we're going to pass in an array of two, five, three, and four. We have int count is equal to zero. And this is just to count how many times this is going to execute. So int count is equal to zero. We have our soldiers numbers right here. And then we have three for loops. When I was looking at this, the reason why I was like, okay, we need three for loops is because we have three um, three soldiers with the three indexes. So they need to be um, three in a row. And the way I was able to choose this is I said, okay, if we look at this index and we would just keep going to the right, well, I should be equal to the zero with one, right? We need to check that one. And then inside of that one, we have another array or next to this one where we're putting it inside of our code here. So next to it is just going to be I plus one. So it'll be this one. And then the same thing for K, it's going to be J plus one, which would be this one. And so if like we were saying, the element at this index is less than the element at this index, which is less than the element at this index, well, then we are going to add our count plus plus because that's going to increment our count because that means that we can form a team here. Or we could have our soldiers be greater than our soldiers I. So the index right here. It can be greater than this one and it can be greater. This one can be greater than this one. If that's the case, then we would also count plus plus. So that's how we would look at this problem. We would then just print it out. It's pretty simple. It's just how we would go about thinking and solving it. But that's it for this example and for this assignment. For more assignments, they'll be in the playlist link below the like button.